Hi, nice to see you and welcome back to another video. It has been almost six years and more than 40,000 shots that I have made with this Sigma lens. Uh, I have used it for wildlife, street photography, landscape, sports, a lot of different situations. So I think I can tell you a good review about this lens and telling you about the pros and the cons in different situations. And of course, at the end of the video, show you something we all want to do with this lens. If you want to know more, stay with me. Things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I bought this lens about late 2017. And why? Because I want to start it to take pictures of birds. I want to uh, make my first steps in bird photography and wildlife. And of course, at this moment, Sigma had two different lens from 600 millimeters. This one, the contemporary model and the sport model. The sport model is supposed to be the high end with a weatherproof system and maybe an improved autofocus, a faster autofocus. But this lens at this time had a price of less than $1,000. So it was a deal uh, in my budget I could refuse and I bought it. This lens is, runs from 150 millimeters to 600 millimeters with a, a widest opening from f5 to 6.3 at 600 millimeters. At the last 50 millimeters from 550 to 600, his aperture is a change from 6.0 to 6.3. The lens has a weight of about 20 hundred grams. It's not a heavy lens. It looks big, but it's not as big as you think. It has a main glass of 95 millimeters, so you can put any filter you wish in the front of the lens. This Sigma has some very interesting features. For example, ha it has an integrated stabilization system. In there, you can choose between the mode one or the mode two. It's supposed that the mode one is for the general pictures and it, and it generates a stabilization vertically and horizontally. And in the mode two, it's supposed it's the best mode to follow an object or is maybe the sport mode to follow an object and to freeze the image in this moment. You can also customize this lens with the USB dock station. In there, you can choose the range of focus limits, the speed of the focus, and of course, adjust if you have a DSLR camera, the fine focus of the lens. You can choose between, of course, manual focus, manual override, and autofocus. And one interesting switch is that you can choose if the range of the autofocus works from 3 or 2.8 meters, about 10 feet, to infinite, and from 10 meters to infinite, or from 2.8 meters to 10 meters. This is one of the best features for me if I shoot uh, birds in flight because I can choose the range I want that the autofocus works. And that's made it a lot, a lot much faster. Mm -hmm. This Sigma had a great sharpness. In wildlife, I always use a maximal focal length of 550 because over 550, I guess, or I have noticed that the, there is a drop of sharpness. So I always prefer to use it at 550. The sharpest aperture I have found perfect for this lens is f8 or f9. I think at this aperture, it gets really sharp pictures. And the autofocus works very well too. Of course, I have to limit the autofocus in this lagoon, for example, from 10 meters to 100 meters. So I ensure myself that the autofocus works very fast between the range where I can shoot the birds. About chromatic aberrations, I only notice it when I use a f-stop over 16. But there is nothing important because in post you can solve it as fast as you can. One thing I really loved in this lens is that with my Nikon D5600, due to the crop factor of the sensor, the 600 millimeters 
almost turns to 900 millimeters. 900 millimeters of focal length is a huge amount of distance you can close to you. Other important thing that it's not a heavy lens, so you can shoot handheld without problems. With the full frame sensor, camera, you just need to follow the rule of one over the focal length to get the shutter speed and it will be okay. For a cropped sensor like I use, one over two times the focal length will be perfect. At this moment, I'm shooting at 500 millimeters of focal length and a speed of, a shutter speed of 1,600. And that works absolutely perfect. About the stabilization system, if I have to be serious, I really don't notice any difference between the mode one or two. It's more, when I shoot birds in flight, I always prefer to turn the stabilization system off because there have been some times that it plays tricks on me and I don't know why, it gets some motion blur in my pictures. The colors the lens gets are really good. There is nothing to say. I'm really impressive with that. This contemporary model don't have a weather sealed system. So if it starts to rain, the photography is over. Now let's take some videos and let's see how this lens works. If you're considering to taking videos with this lens, there are two important points to consider. The first one is that it is a 600 millimeter lens. If you're using it in a crop factor sensor camera, there will be a lot of moment and vibration. So the best is if you use a very heavy duty uh, tripod and a fluid head to get very smooth movements. But the videos you can get with this lens are really awesome. Another important point is to turn off the stabilization system of the lens. So you have a continuous fluid movement without any stops between. Other thing I really love from this lens is that you can do awesome macro photos. For macro photos, just keep the aperture as wide open as you can. Keep the distance of minimum focal distance from 2.8 meters or 10 feet and extend the zoom to 600 millimeters. Active, uh, turn on the stabilization system to one and just watch these pictures. Are really awesome pictures. One of the most challenging tasks for any camera or any objective is to capture the action, the action of different sports. In this case, we will test the Sigma in these skateboarding action sports and see how it performs. Of course, I guess the autofocus will be up to the task. In this case, I will shoot with the Nikon Z7 with the full format camera. And I will use the stabilization system in one and the autofocus, I will let it go from 10 meters to 100 meters. So I can improve the speed of the autofocus. Let's see. Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, takes a And so, that was all here Now, let's go to an air show and take some pictures of planes doing some stunts and see how the objectives will work there too.
Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crash it in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just like my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah Taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots, all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face In street photography, a must is to have a wide open lens uh, a lens keeps open in the whole range of the focal length. But with this Sigma, with an aperture of five, you can already take good pictures. Just try to keep the aperture in five. The focal length will help you to reach this bouquet behind the subjects who are taking the photo. So just go out and try it. For landscape photography, these lens are really a charm. They have the advantage that carries you to places where you can't go with a traditional lens. You can zoom in to the widest part of the landscape and take these impressive photos you can do with a wide-angle lens. I just keep my ISO as low as possible. Use a big tripod in case I have to slow down the shutter speed. And use an aperture of f9 to f11 to get really awesome pictures. My love at focal length for landscapes with this Sigma is between 400 and 500 millimeters. So go out and try. With this lens, taking landscapes pics, is like thinking out of the box. And so, here we are for the last test of our Sigma. And that is something we all want to do as soon as we have a long lens. And that is to take a photo of the moon. I'm using in this case a Nikon Z7 with the full frame sensor. The Sigma Taking a picture of the moon is something relatively easy. You only have to consider to shoot in manual mode, set up an ISO from about 400. I will use a shutter speed of 1 over 1000, an aperture of 8, and of course the 600 millimeters of the Sigma. And so, let's see how the Sigma can do it with the moon. So, of course, the best is to take a few pictures, about 10, 20 or more, and stack it with a post-processing software like Registax, so you can get the best out of the pictures from the moon. And so, as we can see, the Sigma can take really good pictures of the moon. You just need to know the weakness and the strengths of this lens, and so, get the best out of them. And so, as you could see in all these sessions of photos I made, the Sigma is a very good all-around lens. You just need to know which are his weakness and his strengths. And so you can use it for wildlife, landscapes, street photography, astrophotography, sports, whatever. It really performs good, gives you sharp pictures, have is a light lens, you can shoot handheld, whatever you want, and you can't go wrong with this lens. And for this budget, I think there is no other option. So, if you find this video interesting, maybe you consider to subscribe and give it a like, so others can see this video too.
Now it is a very cold night here in Germany. I go home. See you next week. Bye bye. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright.